Welcome back uh, to your story. Let's now look at uh, another uh, leading story on the appointment of Mr. Leonard Marx as a special advisor uh, to, uh, of course, uh, uh, Police Minister Peggy Kele. Uh, let's talk to our reporter there, Lukanyo Galata, who's out in Cape Town, and see if he can hear us. Lukanyo, a very good afternoon to you. I know we're supposed to play the package before we came to you, but this is a live show. I mean, let's get uh, any reactions uh, from, uh, from that side, from the political party in relation to the appointment of Mr. Max. Um, we've heard what the DA has said, but what uh, is the stance of the other political parties? Alicia, good afternoon. Uh, we had the very good fortune uh, a little bit earlier on today to speak to uh, the African National Congress here in the Western Cape. And uh, in essence, what they told us was, was that they're not very uh, surprised at uh, the DA's attitude, uh, you know, uh, at Mr. Max's appointment mm -hmm. to serve as the special advisor to Mr. Begi in, in, in as uh, the, the, the elections had Mr. Ibrahim Rasul went as far as to describe it as the DA once again going down a rabbit hole, you know. Mm. They're once again digging themselves even deeper uh, uh, into trouble with their stance on Mr. Max's appointment mm. and the fact that it seems that the party really wants Mr. Max to, 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 to do the honorable thing, if I can call it that, and resign. Uh, so for the ANC, at least, they're thinking that uh, the, the, the Democratic Alliance is going down a rabbit hole and they advise them to start stop digging because this, I mean, could only have uh, very bad consequences for the Democratic Alliance as the parties, uh, you know, gear up for next year's elections, Alicia. But I mean, uh, look, you, let's talk about this. We know that the office of the Minister of Police is, of course, government mandated and contrary is the DA. So how can these two be, uh, how can one cross over to the other line? I, I, I really don't understand here. Maybe explain how the DA feels that this could be a conflict of interest. Mr. Mr. Tony Leon believes that there's absolutely nothing wrong with the appointment. And besides, we also heard that Mr. Max was looking for an internal position, which the DA failed to, to give him. Indeed, uh, Alicia, I don't think that, I mean, I, as a reporter, I have got any... Uh, comprehension of exactly just what is going on. Mm -hmm. We spoke to uh, Mr. Tony Leon yesterday who, if you remember, was appointed by former President Jacob yes. Zuma uh, as an ambassador to Argentina, to Uruguay, to Paraguay. And what he told us was that he does not see anything wrong in this instance because Mr. Max will be appointed, obviously, to a national government position. And does it really then matter whether or not it is an ANC minister or yes. it is an IFP minister or, or, or it doesn't really matter who's uh, serving in that position. The fact that Mr. Max will be there will in essence be on country duty mm. and the fact that he holds the membership of uh, the opposition party shouldn't really matter. That was, uh, I mean, the opinion of Mr. Tony Leon. Yes. And what he also pointed out to us was to give us an example of a gentleman by the name of Peter Gastro, who back in 1994 already found himself in the very same position where he was approached. Uh, Mr. Gastro was a member of the Democratic Party back then, but he was approached by uh, former minister, uh, Mr. Sidney Mufamadi, yes. who, you know, to come and serve in, in, in his office as an advisor. Mr. Leon then said to us that as the leadership of the DP at the time, they were actually proud to have a member from their party serve in a, 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 a position within a national the national post. government. So, Absolutely. Yeah, so he, I, I, you know, I mean, we don't understand what in essence is going on here. I can, however, tell you, Alicia, that uh, Mr. Max and Mr. Bongengosi Matigizela, they were the two candidates that were vying for the position of DA provincial leader a little bit earlier this, or, or it could have been sometime last year. Yes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Matigizela won that election. Uh, beating out Mr. Max. I then had a, a, an exclusive interview with Mr. Madigizela in his office the next day. And what I took from that conversation was that there they, they, they weren't particularly very good relations between Mr. Madigizela and Mr. Max. So I think this year is, is more uh, of a personality clash yeah. than anything else, really. <laughs> because, I mean, I remember, uh, really, I remember Mr. Madigizela, he, he wasn't particularly 
particularly impressed. I mean, I can't uh, uh, recall specifically what were some of the issues that he had raised against Mr. Max, but I, I, I can recall definitely that he was not impressed with the manner in which Mr. Max has, has had, had ran his campaign for uh, a DA leadership. And obviously, Mr. Madigizela was very happy to have won that. So I think now it's almost like as the leader, he's saying, look, this guy is doing something that I don't agree with mm. as the leader of the Democratic Alliance. And therefore, I think he should, he, he should go. You know, this is a very interesting uh, stance, Lukanya, from a party that we know has uh, a lot of metros that it's in coalition with. And we're always hearing these allegations that they're always taking that, that supremist or, or, or elitist view uh, or, or stance when it comes to matters. But I want to wrap this interview from hearing from you. Have you had any reaction from Mr. Max himself about the possibility now of his DA membership being rescinded? Can we anticipate any court action arising from this matter? Look, I don't know. Uh, you know, I spoke very briefly with Mr. Max yesterday, and what he said to me is that Th there was no precondition to him accepting the job uh, to serve uh, Mr. Kele mm -hmm. and him having to then relinquish his membership of the Democratic Alliance. He's going to go ahead and, and, and serve uh, Minister Kele. The fact that the Democratic Alliance obviously would not want somebody in that position uh, to fight crime in the name of the Democratic Alliance, yeah. I mean, t tells you a lot. This is what Mr. Max said to me when we, uh, when we spoke very briefly yesterday. Today. So I, I think Mr. Max, if, his, uh, if the Democratic Alliance does decide to, uh, to cancel his membership, I don't know if he'll go to court. Maybe he'll just, you know, see it as an opportunity to just join the ANC <laughs> and put the DA matter behind him. But I, th I, I do think that he is, uh, he's, he's, he's a committed member of the Democratic Alliance, and that's where really he wants to stay. But obviously, if the, uh, if, if the DA cancel his membership, I, you know, I, I don't <laughs> think he, 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 he'll have uh, particular <laughs> objections to that. Oh, look, Anya, let's leave it there. Thank you so, so much for that sound update. That is SBC senior parliamentary reporter, Look, Anya, Galata, out in parliament for us on the appointment of Mr. Leonard Marks to the Minister Kele's uh, office as his special advisor.